Yo! Today we're gonna be talking about the three ruined words by TikTok. First, we gotta start off with, of course, Riz. Oh, bruh! Riz, I like this word, man. Just something about Riz, it just stood out. Yeah, we had like, you know, words like game or charisma, but then Riz, it's just something about it. It just rolled off the tongue perfectly. Riz. But of course, fucking TikTok ruined it. Let us hunt. If you ain't trying to let us hunt, who's a dumb Kill your Let's just give a little quick backstory about it. I think Riz started around 2021 with Duke Dennis and Kai Sinat. They just start saying a word. I'm pretty sure it originated from New York, I believe, but who gives a fuck? Kai Sinat and Duke basically made the word. Well, mainly Duke, because every single time you even bring up Riz, it will always be like a Duke Dennis compilation, just suck his dick off. But anyways, yeah, it was made like around two years ago. And it was a pretty funny word because only the inside communities would use it. Only Kai Sinat's, Your Rages, I'm Dante's, like the WL community would only use that word. But then for some reason, I guess these, some of the inbreds from the fucking community started to use it on TikTok. And yeah, that word just went to shambles, dude. Like, niggas will use Riz for anything, bro. It can be like the most basic shit and niggas would be like W Riz, L Riz. I'm not gonna lie, chat used to always do this for like any streamers, but the thing was, whenever the streamers were talking to bitches it actually made sense but now literally everyone will use w or l riz it comes to the point where people use the word riz with some illegal shit bro like a fucking 18 year old could be talking to a 12 year old and there'll be some nigga in the background being like w riz like bro what you try to get him locked up and it makes no sense dude and the worst part about riz is people start justifying well not justifying but they basically started normalizing i guess sexual harassment which you know people who stick that shit out seriously a lot of times but over the times bro i ain't gonna lie to you sexual harassment is kind of looking at a joke like if some guy has like l riz or he's straight up a weirdo people be like nah that's sexual harassment or sexual harassment bro or he'll be like he got that Rizzly Bear Riz or whatever the fuck they say nowadays bro and it's just so cringe and now like dudes will literally go to girls purposely being cringe and purposely having well, I wouldn't even say purposely. And then when they get rejected, they try to, like, be funny to start yelling or do some weird shit, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is not funny. But, you know, sexual harassment is a meme now, I guess. So, yeah, Riz can just fucking die off. Next, we have GAT. Now, GAT was definitely uh, my favorite word out of all these uh, WL words. And, unfortunately, it has been ruined. The thing is, this word just got ruined recently, at least with Riz. Yeah, that word was gone a fucking year ago, but yeah, I just started getting ruined recently, bro. And this word was mainly started by your rage. No, the thing is, goddamn and golly has been a thing for decades. Like, everyone has been saying it. However, how this word originated was, uh, your rage even explained it himself. I'll just let him talk about it. The only definition, the only video you need to see about what yat means. Yat. G-Y-A-T-T. -T. Origin. God damn. I did not create the origin. Origin has been used for many centuries. But everybody used to say god damn or golly. But I said it weird. I don't say yat. I would never say god damn. Chat realized that. In a way of making fun of me in 2020, they started typing yat to mock me. Nobody used to say yat. They'd be like, God damn. So in 2020, when Wargy started saying Gat and taking it to TikTok and YouTube and Twitter, the normies caught it. The Jits caught it. Kai Snacks community caught it. And that's why Gat is being destroyed, abused, used, abused all over the internet. And it's disgusting. I don't even want to be associated with that goddamn motherfucking word. When we say Gat, it just got to be booty. Say Gat. It's an expression like Gat. Holy oh, no. Gat. Shit. It's a reaction. A Twitter Gat. What the f is a Twitter gat disgusting? No, no, literally disgusting. So, yeah, basically, your rage would just say golly in a weird way, pronouncing gat, and I guess a chat would just mock him by saying gat as well. And then eventually, just became like a normal thing to say. They even had emotes for it, they had the original emote and the new emote. But then, I guess these fucks started taking this shit to like TikTok and Instagram, and then. Yeah, it went to hell. Oh my god. People will say gyat to anything. People will be like, a Twitter gyat, a Latina gyat. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Bro, the word gyat is an expression or for people that actually went to school in onomatopoeia. Niggas use it as a noun. Like, what the fuck? She got a fat gyat. Like, bro, what? What does that even mean? 
Like, I used to say Kiat around my, um, ironically, of course. But I would say Kiat in front of my friends. Like, whenever we saw, like, a fat, like, a fat ass, we'd be like, Kiat, damn. That bitch thing is But then, bro, after seeing people use it as a noun, I was like, yeah, the word can burn in hell, too. It's crazy because all the original makers don't even associate with the words anymore. Like, Duke Dennis, he basically abandoned Riz. And now your rage at being a god and yeah, bro, it's just it's just sad, dude. Cause I really love that word and fuck now it's just in shambles now. TikTok strikes again. Now the last term we're gonna be talking about is it might actually throw you off to be honest, but the last one we're gonna be talking about is W and L. Now I'm, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, whoa, W and L, what's wrong with this? The thing is, W and L, it's been a thing, like I said, with Golly and goddamn for decades like this like this ain't some new word people has been saying it since the 90s However, the thing is like the new definition of got W and L is basically like a noun because back then I'll say like let's just say the 2010s for example Like people would only use the word W for when they'll be like I'm about to catch this W or I just got this W mark or now people will actually use W as like a fucking adjective and be like W Riz for example or W cat or W whatever the fuck you did. They basically use it as an adjective. So that's been a thing since like, to be honest, I think Solo Manani and Flight Reacts are actually the founding fathers of that shit. And then, you know, got the Amdantes and the Eurages and the Kai Sinats and they basically just send off from that shit. But yeah, Solo Manani and Flight Reacts are definitely like the pine. And just like Risen got W and L has definitely gotten ruined too. But the thing is, W and L is like, Mainstream as fuck, well, you can say the same thing about Riz. But at this point, W and L is like a mainstream word because you can't really ruin it because you can still say W and L for like anything. With Riz, you can only say it for like game. Yeah, you can only say it as an expression. But W, L, bro, you can say that shit for anything. You can say it for winning or being good at something or a fucking adjective. Like, they can literally be associated with anything. Shit, there's really a community called W, L community. So I wouldn't really say this word is ruined, however TikTok definitely did bring it to the ground. Like, it comes to the point where people unironically think W and L is a TikTok word. And I feel like it's because of quarantine because everyone knew just to use this shit on the internet, bro. Before 2020, bro, I would never say W or L in person. Like, I never would unironically say that, of course, like I said. Unless I won something like, oh, I'm about to take this W, or I'm about to take this dub, or that boy just took an L right over there. I would never use that shit unironically, bro. But after, like, quarantine, bro, I think people have just been stuck on the internet because people would actually say W and L unironically, bro. Like, people would say, yo, W man's like, what the fuck, bro? I, I knew that word was coming to an end when I heard popular kids in school saying that shit, bro. I was like, what the fuck happened to the internet, bro? It's like half and half kind of ruined, but at the same time not ruined. But yeah, basically, everyone uses it just like Riz, but... Let's be honest, Riz is cringe as fuck. But yeah, man, it's crazy how W L literally became a TikTok word. Now, honorable mention, I'll say, that's tough. Now, that's tough isn't a ruined word, but I just want to bring it up. Dude, I'm telling you, if Solo Minotti was more active, he could have literally took over the entire world with this word, bro. Because he already has. Like, dude, in 2018, 2019, shit, 2017, so like 2017, 2019, literally the entire world was saying, that's tough, bro. You could not escape it. And the thing is, they wouldn't just spam it everywhere. Like, if something bad or something inconvenient happened, they'd be like, that's tough. And, you know, there was nothing bad about it, bro. Like, it's just something about that's tough. Like, even to this day, I still say it. Like, it's literally a habit. Of course, I don't say it as much anymore because the word is kind of dead. But, bro, I'm telling you, if Solomonati posted it more often, he could have took the entire world over with this shit, dude. Like, it's actually insane. They had the whole fucking world in a whole chokehold because of this shit. Like, it's actually crazy, dude. But, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I freaking out. Hey, I'm an Anis, I'm Tanisha. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh -huh.